final thing you'll be glad to hear on oxidation reduction numbers or oxidation numbers sorry is balancing redox reaction so remember reduction oxidation reactions or redox equations um so there's different ways you can do it um i personally like using a method involving simultaneous equations as you'll see here so we'll batter on we'll identify what's oxidized what's reduced what's the oxidizing agent what's the reducing agent and then we hope to throw in big numbers in front of these so we start here left to right we know oxygen four times minus two we're at minus eight you want to get to minus one minus eight to minus one you're going to add on seven here fe2 plus is just the charge on it see him here h plus is the charge on it mn2 plus is the charge on it fe3 plus is the charge on it and then your water is two times one and your oxygen is two times minus one lovely and then look at atoms that have changed from the left hand side to the right hand side so mn has gone from plus seven to plus two how does it go from plus seven to plus two it gains five electrons therefore it's reduced therefore it's the oxidizing agent so if they ask you for the oxidizing agent write down mno4 minus i'll just look at balancing them here iron has gone from fe2 plus to fe3 plus how does it do that it's an increase in oxidation number so it loses one electron therefore oxidized therefore it's reducing agent now we'll show you how to balance it so on maths how would you say it gains five electrons you use a plus so here we're looking at mn because that's the atom that gained five electrons so mn gained five electrons just write five electrons and became mn we'll show you then times when it becomes a molecule on the other side iron on the other hand becomes fe loses so it's a minus one electron to produce an iron atom on the right hand side now if you're looking at simultaneous equations here you try and get the same number of electrons different sign so what would you do you times that bottom one by five so you've got mn plus five electrons gives you mn five fe minus five electrons gives you five fe you have the same number different sign and now you're left with the following all you've got to do then is throw in these numbers in front of your iron you're throwing in a five manganese stays the same and then the last one is just visual inspection you've got to look at the other atoms and see do they need balanced up and that's nearly the longest process so you have one or four oxygens here you have one oxygen here so we'll chance throw it a four in front of this we have one hydrogen here we've eight now four times the two is eight so we stick an eight in front of that therefore just because it looks a wee bit messy the balanced equation there is as follows right do another one so again we're looking at mn manganese so we'll fill in the oxidation numbers here starting with your oxygen four times minus two minus eight to minus one you need a plus seven two times plus one is your hydrogen so your sulfur is minus two hydrogen's plus one manganese is plus two sulfur zero because it's on its own and there's no charge in it and then h2o two times plus one minus two look at things that change generally not your hydrogens and oxygens so manganese goes from plus seven to plus two it's a reduction in number so it's reduced and when it's reduced it gains 
gained by electrons, therefore it's reduced. Therefore it's the oxidizing agent. And oxidizing agent is if they've asked you the MNO4 minus. Something else has changed, probably the sulfur. Minus two to zero, it is. Minus two to zero. It's an increasing number. So loses two electrons. Therefore, oil rig oxidized. Therefore, reducing agent. And your reducing agent, if they asked, is H2S. Now you just got to change the English into maths and look at the individual atoms. How do we say gains five electrons? So it's the manganese that has changed its oxidation number. So Mn plus 5e gives you Mn. And what lost the two electrons it was a sulfur. Sulfur minus two electrons gives you a sulfur atom on the other side. Same again. You've got your simultaneous equations. How would we get the same number of electrons? We will bring it up. The lowest common multiple is 10. So you multiply this by 2. And the second equation by 5. So 2mn plus 10 electrons gives you 2mn. 5s minus 10 electrons gives you 5s. There you go. You're left with 2mn, 5s. Now you throw in these big numbers back into the original equation. 2, 5, 2, 5. And then the last one, as I say, it's the most difficult bit, is to visually inspect. So maybe look at your oxygens. 2 times 4, you've 8 oxygens here. On the right hand side, you've only the 1, so stick an 8 there. Now you've changed your ox or hydrogen, so you've got 16 here on the right hand side. We 5 times 2 is 10, you need a 6 here and everything else should balance. So that is the time consuming bit. So our balance equation is 2 MnO4 minus plus 5 H2S 6H plus 2 Mn2 plus. Right, we'll try rattle through a few more. This one. So again, just work with the charges, work with the oxidation numbers. So oxygen, 3 times minus 2. We're at minus 6. We want to get to minus 1. So you're going to add on 5. Carbon on its own is 0. Oxygen, 2 times minus 2. We want to bring it back to 0. So that's plus 4. Oxygen, 2 times minus 2. That's plus 4. And then this is the charge on it which is minus two. So oxygen hasn't changed. Match them up. Nitrogen's gone from plus five to plus four. It's a reduction in a number. It's reduced. Oil rig, so it's gained one electron. Therefore reduced. Therefore oxidizing agent. So an oxidizing agent, something that allows oxidation to happen by gaining electrons itself, i.e. it's something that's reduced. Carbon then has gone from zero to plus four. Zero to plus four, so loses four electrons, therefore oxidized. I rig, therefore reduce an agent. Now change your English into your maths. How do we say gains one electron plus one electron? So nitrogen was the change in the oxidation number. Plus one electron gives you nitrogen. Carbon lasts four electrons. Give you carbon. There's our re-simultaneous. Same number of electrons, different signs. So multiply that top one by four. Four n. It's four electrons. Full line. There you go. What have you got left? And then throw them numbers, them big numbers in front of where the nitrogens are. The last thing, visually inspect any last or atoms haven't taken part. Just oxygen. So you've got 12 oxygens here on the left hand side. You've 8, 9, 10. And to get that at 12, bring in a 2. 
Yeah, but that's not saying how many oxygens there are, it's just a charge on. So your balance equation for NO3 for your nitrates. If you see any wee mistake here, let me know if you have any questions. Kind of rushing through them. And one more, and then we'll step it up into the last sort of type, the harder type of them. So, and this, again, fill in your oxidation numbers, copper zero. Uh, oxygen three times minus two, nitrogen's plus one, minus six plus one's minus five, nitrogen must be plus five as well. Nitrogen mm. plus one, uh, copper plus two, oxygen minus two, so nitrogen must be plus two. Keep them in the same order, you'll not get confused. Match them up. Copper goes from zero to plus two. What has it done? It's lost. How many did it lose? Two electrons. You can get halves here. You know, it's only just a wee rule. You don't lose half an electron though. But you write it down. Therefore, it's oxidized. Therefore, reducing agent. So the reducing agent is Cu. Forgot to fill in these here. Not a bother to you. And then your nitrogen goes plus five to plus two. So reduction. So gains three electrons. Therefore reduced by rig. Therefore oxidizing agent. So the oxidizing agent is HNO3. Nitric acid. I just convert that English into maths. Copper loses two electrons, so copper minus two electrons gives us copper. While nitrogen, which had the change in the oxidation number, gains three electrons, giving us nitrogen. There's our wee simultaneous. Same number of electrons, different signs. So multiply that top line by three, bottom line by two. That'll give us six. So 3Cu minus 6 electrons gives you 3Cu, 2N plus 6 electrons. There you go. Now throw these numbers back into the top. The last thing, the, the visual inspection. So I kind of work with oxygens and then work with hydrogens, but it's kind of personal preference. Here I have two times three of six oxygens on the left. I have two here, so I need another four. So let's take a four there. Now looking at your hydrogens, I probably work with the side with more of them. That'll tell me how much more I need. Four times two of eight hydrogens over here. I've got two of them here, so I need another six hydrogens. So your balanced equation, 3Cu, 2HNO3, 6H+, plus, 3Cu2+, plus, plus 2NO, plus 4H2O. And that'll do us for the mean, meanwhile. We'll then do a few more difficult ones after.